Hello, Tracy and Jamie, and everyone there at Magic Man Tree Solutions. Hi, my name is Charles, and I just saw your post on on, on Alignable. Um, I just want to show you my picture. This is me over here, from Wally Digital. And I thought instead of commenting, I see you, you have a lot of good comments here, um, a lot of good responses. I figured I'd just shoot you a short video showing you exactly, um, like just giving you some recommendations on what you can do and just showing you exactly the what kind of opportunities are available to you. Um, Alright, so I don't want to waste any more of your time. Um, actually, what I do tell people is that I do this because I want to just give value first. Um, and I find that business owners are way too busy and there's a steep learning curve learning about the stuff. So I just want to give you a few hints what you can do, show you what's available there for you. So um, let's get started. Um, so I know you're looking out, you, you're trying to find um, ways to be more um, accessible, more visible to clients. And that's what I do. I help build businesses by attracting more and more clients. I think what you've done here, uh, advertising on Facebook, that's a great, that's a great way. Um, also, I I'll really consider Google ads. And the reason is, um, when people are looking for a service like yours, like tree trimming, Marion County or um, tree trimming Ocala, Florida, tree service Ocala, Florida. Those are known as buyer intent searches. Obviously, someone who's searching for that kind of keyword, that phrase to put it into Google, is looking for that service. Um, advertising on Facebook is more or less, um, what's the name for it? More or less a pattern interrupt. Um, you're interrupting a pattern of scrolling, whereas Google ads, people are looking for those keywords, so you'll be bidding on those keywords. It does get a bit more expensive because it's pay per click. Um, and I use a tool to kind of research different keywords, and it's called SpyFu. Uh, actually, they have a great deal going on right now of like nine, nine bucks a month. But uh, anyway, what I'm seeing when I was researching, you know, your area, I saw this business comes up uh, for Google Ads when, um, yeah, I got them from just looking at uh, Tree Service Orlando. In fact, I was looking at Ocala, Florida before that because I noticed that you're in um, Marion, uh, Mar the big city in Marion County is Ocala, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so I figured let me just concentrate on that. And you can see with this tool, I took one website that is already advertising. So you can tell the kind of traffic that's looking for your services. Tree trimming, um, sorry, Tree Solutions Florida, Tree Service Orlando, um, about 550 people look for that every month. But it does have quite a high cost per click. Um, if three people click, that's already 12 bucks in a day. Um, I don't know how big you guys are right now. But that's just something to consider. Um, let me. I just want to show you a few more. Tree Service Florida, 155 people search for that per day. So if you do decide to organize, uh, sorry, to advertise with Google, I'm just trying to show you the kind of numbers you'd expect for those keywords. Um, Tree Services Orlando, Florida, which is close. Now I took Orlando because it's a bigger city that's close to you guys. I know it's about an hour and a half away. Out, but um, also, I was looking at other keywords connected to Tree Service Ocala, Florida, because I noticed there's about 230 people who search for this every day. Um, and by search for this, I have two tools. I'll show you a different tool. This is a SpyFu. They collect data from somewhere. So all these are averages, which are conservative averages. Um, I can see here there's zero. There's no cost per click, so I'm guessing there's not a lot of Google ads. Even while Googling, doing some research, I noticed there are not a lot of Google ads for um, tree service in Ocala, or tree removal, stump removal, etc. Um, yeah, log removal service, 28 people search for that a month. Tree service in Ocala, Florida. Now, this is a high cost per click, obviously, but I'm sure it's worth it if you're getting that, that cost, those customers coming. So... The other way to uh, help people find you more and more is to have a website. I just noticed I tried to Google you guys or find you or at least go to magicmantreesolutions.com and it seems like your website isn't built yet. Um, it's pretty important to have a website um, because 
like you know, 90% of people use Google to search for local services. 70% of those do not leave the first page. So, and people are more likely to click on businesses that they see with a website. So, I'm going to talk about these results. Here, the result, the front page results. And I'm also going to talk about a website. Hopefully, I'll be able to be done within three to four minutes. Okay. I want to use my, uh, this website I just recently built, um, it's for some roofers here in, um, in Pennsylvania. I'm in the Philadelphia area, by the way. So, um, with a website, there are three things that are very important. These three things will help you grab a lot of traffic if you do decide to build a website. They are content, citations, and backlinks. Now, content is everything that's on your front page. Let me just move myself. Everything on your front page, meaning all the text, images, the words behind the images. For example, if I decide to see what this is saved as. Oh, sorry, that's a link. Saved it as a link. So let's take the logo, for example. You can see it's saved as Roofing Contractor Philadelphia PA. It's saved with um, those keywords I was talking about. Google reads everything on your website, and the more it sees, the more relevant it sees that you are to the searches that people are doing looking for your services the more um, you'll rise up to the front page and then grab traffic. And I'll show you some numbers about uh, traffic that I've seen coming through your area. So, to optimize with Google, uh, not only do you um, save your pictures correctly, but your text. Google optimize, To optimize Google, you need about 1,000 to 1,500 words of um, authoritative keyword-rich text on your front page. Um, Keywords like if you see roof in Montgomery County, roof repair Philadelphia, etc. So once you know what uh, people around your area are looking for, make sure you saturate those 1,000 to 1,500 words with um, keywords. And by authoritative, I mean text that shows exactly who you are, the locations you service, what you do, um, yeah, the service areas, and all services that you give. This is so that Google knows you're relevant and puts you up in front of those searches. Next thing I want to talk about is citations. Now let's go back to the search. So after you see the Google Ads, and we spoke about Google Ads, um, you'll see this area known as a map pack, where you have three businesses and a map of the local area. It's very location-oriented. The way to rise higher and higher in the map pack, because if I click on more businesses, you'll see the rest of them in the map pack, and you can see it's location-oriented. Um, way to rise higher and higher is through citations. Now, what are citations? Citations are anywhere in the online directories that your name, address, and phone number are stored. So directories like LinkedIn, um, Better Business Bureau, Dexnos, Yelp, um, Superpages.com, Yellowpages.com, etc. The more and more niche relevant directories you're in, the higher and higher you'll rise um, in the map pack. Um, then, after that, is the section here, the organic listing section. Now, how do you rise higher and higher in here? It has a lot to do with backlinks. Backlinks are wherever, whenever, um, if you think of the internet as a collection of web pages or linked together, a backlink is when one web page links to your web page, directing traffic to you. Not all backlinks are the same. You can have, uh, let's say it's a McDonald's that is backlinking to you. Google can tell that's a different niche. It's not that relevant, so it will drop your relevancy. If it's a, um, a forum on on um, tree trimmers, you know, in in, in Florida, in Central Florida, and they have a blog out and they have a link to your website, that's considered a stronger backlink, and Google will consider you more relevant. I have a tool here called Arefs, which can analyze um, websites. So it's up to whoever's doing your SEO to actually take your competitors websites here and I'll let's do this in a new window I want to come back to those numbers in a second um, so you can take your competitors website analyze it look at the keywords they're ranking for and also look at the backlinks that they have from what domains so they have about 134 backlinks from 25 domains 
So it's up to like whoever's doing your SEO stuff to come here. Make sure you have the same, not all, not necessarily the same, but from the higher quality backlinks that they have, make sure you have those. And not only that, you want to double or triple the number of backlinks so that you can keep on staying on top of these searches, at the top of these searches. And since 70% of people will click, will not leave the front page, probability that you will be clicked through is very high, especially given the kind of numbers that I was looking at. For example, Orlando Tree Service. I'm just exploring this keyword and I could see um, search suggestions. There's about 200 people who look for that every month. Tree Service Orlando, 150. Orlando Tree Removal, 100. Orlando Tree Cutting Service, 50. Um, and then I also took a look at stump, stump grinding in Ocala, Florida. About 40 people look for that per month. The keyword difficulty is just how hard it is to beat your competitors. And that's pretty easy. You can, if you start ranking for that and, you know, impl implement these things, you will, you'll be up there on the front page for this kind of, this keyword search in probably a month, a month or two, um, between one or two months. Because the keyword difficulty is very low. Tree service, we call it Florida, brings up others. So I know about 200 people look for that every month. Um, let's see, what else did I find? A tree removal on Orlando. I looked at Orlando before, but you can pause and look at the numbers if you'd like to. Um, tree trimming in Ocala, Florida. Um, about 40 people look for that per month. Let's look at matching terms here. There are not that many. So I can tell that the search volume is high, but for certain keywords. This tool is kind of powerful because you can also look at the traffic share uh, per domain. So you can look at your competitors and see what kind of traffic they're getting. So let's go here. Oh, I'll call that tree service. That's one of your competitors. I just want to analyze just to show you that it's very possible to beat them and grab the traffic that they're getting. So they have about 227 backlinks from 31 domains. And you'll notice if you do some more research, a lot of these backlinks are just directories they're in. Maybe they have a few guest posts or comments on other blogs, etc. Well, um, thank you very much for your time. Thanks for uh, listening to me. Jamie and Tracy, it's a pleasure. Um, I just want to say again, my name is Charles. Um, I hope these these tips, these three tips, citations, um, content, and backlinks. If you implement them, once you get a website, you'll start to see more and more traffic coming to you. All right. Thank you very much. Take care.